Narayan Maharaj said, is not a Bhaji Bhakti. Ritual injection is not works with regulative principles. Is your greed make you to do that? Yes, it's a relationship, and relationships they have all different moods. Right. Hey, Tarun Baba, Radhe Radhe. What is the subject? Tarun the Baba. subject is uh, verse 68. We continue from last week, Udi. Yeah, Tarun Baba, we are so clear with that. Yes. Last week we started with the verse 68 and uh, then we stopped in the middle of the verse. It's a long uh, purport because it's a sweet time of Abhisa when Radharani is going to meet Krishna and Krishna is um, decorating the kunj. And at that time... Uh, Tulsi Manjari is walking behind Shimati Radhika and Rupa Manjari is holding her right arm so that she can walk because her greed is so strong, her rag, her desire, her rati, that she can hardly walk straight and then sometimes they have to help her. Rade. And you see, it's nice decorating the Kunya. Means uh, Krishna is doing the, the in the same mode of Manjari service to decorate the Kunja for some. Yes. It's a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the mood of Radhika and covered himself in Radhika form that he can serve in his manjari bhav. Because Krishna, the Krishna he meet with Radha, but he want to realize the dasi how feeling that he do the service. The service is a very important subject in our Mahaprabhu Yeah, it's that. Then I start with uh, repeating the verse and continue with the comments of Srila Nandadas Babaji. Oh, my dear friend Rupa Manjari. So, no, this is sadhana of Manjali Bhav. There is no senior and junior. All are one day's difference in their saru, guru and dasi Manjali Bhav. Excuse me, Gurudev, if your voice is coming a little uh, oh, oh. weak, Understand we can uh, get the volume higher. No, no, no. I just had to switch up one fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try now, Gurudev. It's better mm. now. Better yet, Suniti? I will say something again. Rade, Rade. Yes, good. Now good. Now good. All of good. Oh, yeah. my dear friend Rupa Manjari, when can I walk behind you? When you lovingly take wide eyed goddess Radhika, who is moved by waves of desire to the play grove 
that is decorated by Shri Hari as she holds her wine like arm with yours. Manam oh, Manjari, yes. Manjari is showing the way to Radhika where to go. <laughs> Radhika is not showing the way to Manjari. Manji, Rupa Manjari is showing the way where you have to go. She asked This is Manjari. Baba, every word has a deep meaning. His right, his words is coming in his sarupavish. So, by listening, we will develop our sarupavish. Rangamai Swamini floats in the waves of calm, holding your Rupa Manjari's arm, while I, Tulasi Manjari, walk anxiously behind her, watching her stumbling gait. Again, again, I is not clear to me. Rangamai Swamini mm -hmm. floats on the waves of calm, holding your Rupa Manjari's arm, while I, Tulasi Manjari, walk anxiously behind her, watching her stumbling gait afraid that she will trip or fall out of eagerness to meet Krishna. How and she acts her, she cannot put the stepping events. Rupa Manjari is taking and Rati Manjari is behind. One is sewing and one is Pressing Supporting. <laughs> she cannot herself step in. She cannot. She is so much in ecstasy, she cannot. I, uh, Tulasi Mandra, walking anxiously behind her, walking her stumbling gait, afraid that she will trip or fall out of eagerness to meet Krishna and ready to hold her then. Holding. Eagerness is so intense. Eagerness. Eagerness, this eagerness, what Narayan Mara said for us. We need our greed. Here, eagerness is so intense. Two person has to hold and carry and bring there. You see? This eagerness. Want to go, but I cannot step in. Good if here, if I may say, here also we can see why we are Rupanukas because even Radhi Manjari is walking behind Rupa Manjari. So Rupa yeah. Manjari is the Alpha and we follow always Rupa Manjari and Rupa Goswami. So even Radhi Manjari is walking behind. Everything is has meaning, if I'm yeah. correct. Very, very right, and totally right. Behind walking, 
bringing to the Swamini to feel his eagerness to fulfill, greed to fulfill. This is the service of Pandit. When Swamini sees a blackish tamal tree on the way, she mistakes it for Krishna. And when she sees a it's golden... Why they are carrying any place you see black trees in Krishna. Eagerness is so much. Get the day, the where I see, I see only you. But Rupa Manjari bring want to bring to Krishna, but where she see him black, she <laughs> This is my Krishna. He sees so much eager and eh, what you say, ecstasy. Wow. Prema Vachitya. Prem, Prema And when she sees a golden wine entwining this tree, she mistakes it for a rival gopi embracing him. <laughs> this is the love. The love made to see very much positive and very negative also. This is the beauty of love. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> to have to revenge <laughs> is a love meaning. How you? Why not you talk with normal person? But love makes you so intense. Ah. You will help her out of her illusion, while I will help Swamini to meet with Shyam in a Kunja house, which he adorns with his own bodily luster. The words Kama Taranga Rangam apply here to the billowing waves of Madana Rasa, the pinnacle of love of God, and not to material lust. Oh. Oh. Can you explain Madana Ras, Gurudev? Tarun Baba. Again. <laughs> Read again. The words Kama Taranga Rangam apply here to the billowing waves, as of the overflowing no, I, waves of English Madana. Is, I am not from uh, Master in English. You yes. Have been very, very, very slow. Yes, good. Sorry. The words Kama Taranga Ranga. Kama, Kama. There are two Kama, uh, two, two Kama Deva. One is a material Kama Deva. 
and one is the spiritual Kamadeva. And that Kamadeva is the bringing to my heart to spiritual life. Go were done. increase my sense of desire more and more for a spiritual life. They, that is meaning of this Govardhan. To increase my senses only for the Kama Deva, Kama Gayatri for the Krishna and Jugala. That is Kama Deva. Kama Gayatri. So, Kama, read, or? Kama Taranga Ranga. Taranga, Taranga, Kama at Taranga. Waves. Tar the waves. Kama has the waves. Because Rati is also there. And this Rati is Taranga. They cannot, these waves are so intense. Uh, ocean wave that catch you, bring inside the ocean. Waves are so intense. Without fulfilling the desire, is not stopping this type of. This Taranga. Kama Taranga. Yeah, go on. Applying to the over flooding waves of Madhana. Over flooding! Rasa. Not over Russia. Over flooding. One is a flood coming and touching us. One flood come to bring inside the ocean that over flooding. That's the answer. This wave is so heavy, I was putting my feet very strongly to not leave my material existence, but it's not working. Over flood to me that I in in the ocean. That <laughs> that, that, that's the Waiting for this moment, good <laughs> Mm -hmm. And this is coming only when Rati become in Taranga. Rati become in Taranga. Then you cannot see anything. You want to close eyes and everything from everything. That is Sri Guru Charanarati. That so this waves is so strong. I want to keep myself to hold myself in my identification. No way. Kama. Taranga. Ranga. Ranga. This color. Ranga is a color. Flavor. It's a beautiful flavor. Only Rasik can understand. Who is intense in that rasa? Go on. 
And this applies to the over flooding waves of Madana Rasa. The pinnacle. Madana Rasa. Madan Sukhnakun. You know that Skunja is where? Im Dada Kund. Say it, Tarambhava. This is the Kunja of making of Radha Kund. Hmm. Radha Kund. We have to practice Madan Sukhda The Dharma practice may not read. Still, that. Gurudev, this Madana Sukhata Kunj, is this the Kunj of Ananga Manjari? This is Radha. Mohan meeting place is Madan Sukhata Kunj. Any meeting place or only Radha Kunj? No, Kunda, Kunja. Kunj. Kunja, where they meet. This is Madan Sukhata Kunj. Yeah, go on. I cannot okay. say more much. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, good. Sorry. Because we are family, we, I say to inspire that you have to practice. Only practice to re try to remember this. <laughs> to identify very well. Go on. There are. Hmm. The pure love of the gopis is known as lust because the external activity appears to be the same. But there is complete absence here of desire for personal sense enjoyment. Without Gopi how we cannot <laughs> We have to come to Gopi Bhav. Then we see Saki Bhav. Then we see Gopi Bhav. Then we see the Mandiri Bhav. Then Sahari Bhav, Mani Bhav, what you want to know. But the first step is to be Gopi Bhav. Gopi Bhav. <coughs> to be ready to prepare my spiritual body. <coughs> that Radharani can relate with me. If I have no Gopi Bhav, she will not even see to the male. We only see the male. One, Negro, black guy. Cheater, devotee, many names, Krishna, we only like to see this, Madhava, Madhusudana, she wants to see that. She not want to relate. She not want. Only she see if somebody ready to be a gopi and try to be. Shiran. Jai Shirani.
In this world, it is also noticeable that some activities appear to be the same externally, but have different goals. For instance, as an example, two persons may be picking flowers in a garden. One of them is doing it to gratify his own nose for his own nose. And the other is doing it to worship Radha Mohan. One of them is doing... No, the first person who is doing it for their own enjoyment binds himself to this illusory world by longing or striving for sense gratification. Yeah. While the other awakens their dormant love of God by working within the realm of his Swarup Shakti, yeah. inner this energy. Is this is the... Named Bhagavad Bhakti. Yeah. My Kesa Baba se astore astore kathai. Astore. Kesa. Gopinath is the means like different kinds of levels of understanding. So Kesha Baba says that everyone has a different level of understanding spiritual truth. And he cannot understand more than that. <laughs> How much you increase your level, we understand in that way. When some devotees ask to the question, he say, yeah, boy, this is happening. Thing is this, astare astare kathaje. He never deny anything right or wrong. He says, okay, okay, okay. But, astare astare katha. One is smelling himself for, one is taking flower for the making the God. Like you see, this Japanese lady, every day she makes the flower. Like his most important service. And she don't know how to put the garnet, and now she is making beautiful garments. Beautiful, nice. It is well known that the Lord is not captured by lust, which is not attended with pure love for him. Yeah. He's the Lord, yeah. He has everything, but he is a, he is a, he is a, the only thing he misses is the love. Because he alone, he, himself, he cannot do. It. 
so he from him sir allah come out that is radha to love us. seeing yeah. that the lord is controlled to the utmost by the gopikas last it can be easily understood that this last is the pinnacle of deep love yeah Therefore Sri Jiva Goswami writes in Bhakti Sandarbha This conjugal love is called karma or lust because it resembles lust but the mundane cupid called smara is different from this because many differences can be seen between the two <clears throat> usually the word calm is used to indicate desire or lust and pretty or prem is the attitude of wanting to please the lord therefore although the activities of lust and love appear to be the same the desire to please oneself has been called lust and the desire to please Shri Radha Mohan Shri Krishna has been called pure love Atma Sukriti Vancha Dhare Kamana Krishna Sukriti Vancha Dhare Prem Explain, Tarun Baba. I don't know this verse, but there's the translation of the verse. Atma Sukha Priti Vancha, Dare Kamana, Krishna Sukha Priti Vancha, Dare Premana. Is it Chaitanya Chaitanya Chaitanya? Suniti, you explain. Good if I'm not very realized in this, but I every day I try to remember what is the this is explained here that to come out of lust to go into love the selfless love not to try to satisfy my own senses and misunderstand this to be the goal of life but to really go into the deeper understanding of my soul consciousness first of all i am not this body and then of course my swarup and then i am there to serve Shri Radha Mohan and also their servants. But you have more realization, Gurudev, because this pure love is very far away from me. That's how I feel. I aspire for it and I practice, but this purity is very difficult in the human body. That's what I feel. What I what I understood from the Chaitanya Charitamrita verse is that Krishna usually is self satisfied. 
And he only can be aroused and he only can be bound by the love of the gopis. I, I'm, I'm not very familiar with the verse, but Atma Sukham Atmara means Krishna is actually very self-satisfied, but only by the love, by selfless love, he can be conquered. Yeah. Gopinath, say something. Hare Krishna. We always hear that um, the manjaris have more pleasure to see the divine couple relishing in the Kunja Vilas. And Gurudev said very beautifully one day that um, the pleasure for Seva, if I feel that I have pleasure while doing Seva, then it's my ego, my mind. But if selfless service is there, that means that I'm doing it for their pleasure, not for my pleasure. And the more our bhajan increases, intensifies, the more we can relish that their pleasure is the highest and we can contribute to their pleasure. And Gurudev always has been the last weeks sharing with us this transcendental cupid and the material cupid and that we always go for material desires, whether for, for spiritual uh, endeavor. And he also added another dimension the last uh, weeks was that we always go into, instead of being Radhika Sneha, we always go into Visham Sneha. Our mind always goes into the material world, which is to enjoy into Krishna's world, <clears throat> which is to enjoy our senses. So in our sadhana, we always have to pray that our mind, our senses always go to Radharani so that we can really develop our spiritual identity. Otherwise, we will stay, like Gurudev was saying, this Visham Sneha, and I feel it very strongly, like the mind always goes into, into Visham Sneha rather than be, becoming a Radhika's name. What you want to say something, Gopika? <laughs> <laughs> no, come, say something. <laughs> come, come. Yeah, you're not listening. Yeah. Come. Who did? I know you know. I remember you always re explained this verse to us, and you said that. If I do for myself, then it's a karma. And if I do for their pleasure, it's a prema. Same thing, but if I do for my senses, it's karma. If I do for their pleasure, it's a prema. You always yeah. explain this verse like this, as right. I remember. Yeah, you will. For detachment, you can start with that. And it will go to the highest. Anything you do for the service of Krishna is no karma, is a prema. But Krishna should be there. The, not you, you are the goal. Goal is he or she. For us, it is Swami is my goal. Yes. Meanwhile. Hmm. It's like nothing. From this, it is Swami easy. Swami is my goal. Swami is my goal. <laughs> we don't want to be a Visham Sneha. Give us my Radhika. Okay, this I read already. Now Swami <laughs> goes on Abhisar. 
committing for Krishna. Dad to follow. Rupa and Rati to follow. Yeah. Holding Sri Rupa Manjari's hand. Holding. And you are holding the Rupa and Rati Manjari hand. Because you don't want to give more pleasure to them. You also taking some load. Yeah. Waves of lust are manifest in each of her limbs. Yeah. Then lust will come to you. Then Rati will come to you. <laughs> Their wife I have to receive. Mahajan Gata Supantha. What our Mahajans they walk that way we have to walk. If not, then we will confuse out, out of track. We cannot walk independently. Our Guru Manjari, our Rati Manjari, our Rupa Manjari, Mahajan Gata Supantha, that is the way of my walking. I don't want to create new way of work. <coughs> Understand? What you say in Mahajan Gata Sapantha in English? Following in the footsteps of the great souls or listen to the conclusions of their wisdom? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mahajan, oder? Tarun Baba, say something. You said it very, very nicely. That's it. Following the Mahajans, Rupa Rakunate Pate Aoi Beakuti. We always follow Rupa Rakunate. And what the Mahajan says. Pade, we cannot follow without our Guru Manjari. Why I say navigator? They are navigator. They are not a goal. They are navigation. They will navigate me where I cannot see. I cannot feel. They will navigate me. Navigate. They are not goal. My Swami is my goal. My Radha is the goal. Hmm. Huh? Kishori is my goal. Hmm. Yeah. Waves of lust are manifest in each of Shrimati's limbs. Her and this last, this last, if you touch the rupa and rati manjari with true guru manjari, this will flow to us. Yes. The spiritual. If not, then my material body and material last, my senses, we will cry whole of life and die. Not achieving anything. Then he will ask, then I have to stop doing this. Who said to stop doing kaka and pipi? Anybody stop you? Doctor cannot stop you, yeah. But kaka and pipi, no. Kaka and pipi, you don't become kaka and pipi and you don't live in that toilet. Go and clean your hand and come out or not. I think 
when I will become old, then I will control my senses before I cannot control my senses. Honestly, and now happen this, if little pee-pee come to me, I have to run like a plane. If not, then my clothes will become dirty. So, my dear, is the right time in your age to do that. To balance, not to stop it, but balance it. Show sudra, so that kaka and toilet. This is your toilet. You go and make two slaps to them. They will be very quietly go and come. They will not disturb you to run for other toilets. They know there is my where is my place to go. Why you bother for this subject? It's a very, very nominal uh, subject. Sudra, no problem. Problem is Brahmana is the problem. Your head is the problem. Your eyes is the problem. Your nose is the problem. Your tongue is the problem. Your ear is the problem. They are not this thing because the false ego is sitting on the head and they are not ready to listen to us. Kalia. Kalia. <laughs> that I one Brahman, one to Brahman disciple I am. I cannot teach them because they are Brahmins. I say impossible to teach all of you because you are Brahman. I will never listen to me. And what we are sharing, if you are listening from Brahmana, you will never understand. <laughs> You can teach to Sudra, you can teach to Vaishya, stomach, belly, this to eat and this not to eat. You can teach to the hand because no eyes, no nose, no face, nothing. They have nothing, no senses. They can listen to you. But when the, everything is there, all intelligent and the Kaliya is sitting here, how they will listen? Impossible. Impossible, my dear. Our, our pandits who become pandits, they will never listen. My real listener is Govinda Prem. And Tarun Baba introduced me. I went to first time to his place. Everybody say that gone go to the red color clothes. This Govinda will come and misbehave you. I say, I want to see it. <laughs> he don't like any Vaishnavas. And now he's only singing and so sweet singing, so beautiful singing that he is flowing in the love. I surprised. Tarun, you see this? Tarun, show me. Gurudev, he was my teacher when I was a young fool. He was teaching me. We have many, many meetings together when I was my in dear, he, he always came to my place. He is teaching now to me. What is what, what I feel? He's singing. He said, after love, you no need to talk, but only you have to sing. Why you are talking to Sadhu Maharaj? Sing and cry. I like so much. I cannot see you. He said, sing it. Why you are talking? Still you are in this lips business. Use the lips to sing and cry. Thank you, Govinda friend. I understand your message. I understand. 
inspired me like this. I will be very, very understand your feelings. And this is the oneness. What you want to give me, Master, I understand that. Thank you. Yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. It is a strong desire to meet Mohan. But it is all for Krishna's pleasure. Her passionate love for him is like a wave which is manifesting through the gestures of her eyes, her walk and her words. Anxiously, she's asking Rupa Manjari, how long will it take before I can see him again? Ah, a long way. When you go to meet Radhika, I go to meet this lover. Two step is long way for her. Because she wants to see down, <laughs> and some steps to do is a long way. Wow. Gurudev, one moment in separation is like thousands of years. Yes. One time she is working, fully ornament, decorated. Manjari is decorating and she wants to work faster. And ornaments become so heavy and the manjaris make him ornamenting to show to Krishna. And whole day she is thinking and thinking that all ornaments what she is wearing is only to pleasing Krishna. And when she starts walking, it's very heavy. She starts to open and throw. All through. One by one, she is all throwing on the street. Manjin said, what are you doing? Why are you throwing them? He said, too heavy to reach the street. All day you decorate to show him, and now you are throwing. He said, yes, I want to see him now. Now, it's too heavy for me to walk with this. I said, what do you, so costly all of this. This is the costliest moment in my time for me that I am not looking at. I have more value that I have to see now. There. So, he has a feeling on me, you know. Baba is talking on feeling. He says sometimes, God, God, <laughs> but really, God is influenced for the feeling you want to show them. Go on. Tell me, Rupa, how far is it still? Ah. ah, how eagerly he must be sitting there waiting for me. There is a delight in separation, although it brings suffering. This is love. The Radhika is worried for Krishna that he is delayed for him. I am not waiting right time. 
Hachi, he's suffering. That how she is not feeling her problem that she has to work, but she is feeling that maybe I'm delayed to reach him. This nice feeling, some delay, make me very fast. Such delight cannot be found in this world. No. Kripa, Mati, I hate you. That. Unless feelings of separation awakening, there can be no awakening of a strong desire to attain the beloved. Yeah. Unless love is not there, you not feel separate. He then leave. Baba saying. If love is there, you feel suffering. And unless you no know, feel separation, then you have no love. <laughs> if you no know feel, there are feelings. Therefore, the first target of the aspiring devotee must be love in separation. Love and suffering. It's intense damage. Yeah. Unless there is eagerness born from a feeling of want, Eagerness, greed, everything is one word. Why I say greed, eagerness? This is the only point you need, nothing else, no qualification. Other than this is no, no qualification, is blockage. Write down this. If there is no eagerness, no greed, other what we are collecting is blocking. Right or not, Gopina? Gurudev, there is one, one beautiful uh, Leela, if I can share. Yeah. One time. You see, Ratik, more than. <laughs> I'm telling you honestly. One time Radharani is going with the Manjaris on Abhisar. And as we were listening now also, she's so anxious because she knows that Shyam Sundar is waiting in the Punja. But the path is heavy, as Gurudev was explaining. And suddenly Radharani screams, I, I have a thorn in my foot. I cannot walk anymore. She looks at Rupa and Rupa Manjari says, Oh, Shamaju, I don't think that thorn is in your foot. I think the thorn is in your heart. Because if it would be in your foot, you would be able to walk. But the pain of separation is in your heart. So in that moment, Brother Rani needs the mandari so much to help her to continue on the path, to bring her to the conjure. Yeah. Going there. So, as you said, Buddha, we have to feel that separation also, no? Yeah. Love in separation. Yes. Love in separation. You have to feel it. And live in that. Yeah. 
a devotee should not forget this when becoming absorbed in the bliss of meditation. A person like me feels no spiritual desire at all. I'm having fun. My belly is full. Everything is okay. The aspiring devotee will feel ashamed when he realizes the difference between the careways, careless way of life and the activities of the Goswamis. Yeah. Sriman Mahaprabhu stood behind the Garuda pillar and viewed Lord Jagannath from there, bathing in his own tears. Shri Gaura Sundara is Radha Bhavhatya, enriched by Radha's mood, seeing himself meeting Krishna at Kurukshetra as a beggar woman. Yeah. Although Krishna is her all in all, Swamini could not embrace him and hold him to her heart. What pain, what anguish. Boundless bliss agitates the ocean of anguish as she thinks to herself. Go to Braj. I want to see you in Braj. Raghunath Das is the embodiment of Sriman Mahaprabhu's grace. His love and separation is natural. The devotees will greatly benefit by hearing and chanting about the stream of his worship. Yeah. Sanskrit commentator Bangibi Hari Vitya Lankara adds the name Ayatakshi or white eyed girl used for Radhika in this verse is very appropriate. White eyes can see far, and Radhika needs that capacity to save her own life by seeing how far it is still before they come to Krishna. Together with Tulsi and Rupa, Swamini arrives at the gate of the Kunj. Hari Vibhushita Kelikunj. She Hari single handedly decorated the trysting place where Rupa and Tulsi bring Swamini and is waiting there for her. Radhika is known as Vasaka Sajika, a girl who decorates the meeting place awaiting her hero. But now the situation is 
reversed. Hari made a sitting place for her with flowers moistened by his own loving tears. The Kunja is decorated by Hari's form, qualities and craftsmanship. How expert he is in decorating. It is as if he decorates all four sides of the Kunja with his pure love for his Priyaji, thinking, here I will sit with my beloved. This is the expertise of Prem Seva, the mutual service of love. When Swamini enters the Kunja with Rupa and Tulsi, she is amazed. First of all, it is the Kunja which delights Cupid. And then it is also decorated by the very hands of this transcendental youthful Cupid of Rindavan. Yeah, oh. This Cupid, transcendental Cupid. Swamini is asking, Shyam, who decorated this kunj? And Hari says, who knows? You understand. Srimati says, you have done it. Nobody else can decorate like this. You have done all this work knowing that I would come. I should have been here with you to help you. Today, she is very munificent, very giving and generous. It is Swamini's Hari who steals Harana, her heart, with this loving expertise. Two teardrops trickle from Radhika's eyes. How affectionately Shyam helps her onto her sitting place. How much love he has in his heart as he sits at her soft feet. Wow. sitting himself down on the pedestal and takes her feet to his chest. Asking her, how have you come all the way here with these tender feet? The ground of Braj is so hard. He repeatedly looks at Swamini's lotus feet that are grayed by dust.
Tulasi understands the mood and brings a golden pitcher with water and a golden bowl. <coughs> While Tulasi pours out the water, Shyam washes Swamini's feet and dries them off with his yellow dhoti, while tears trickle from his eyes. Without the mercy of the Acharyas, this cannot be experienced. <laughs> By their grace, the divine remembrance of this pastime will awaken within the heart. The mind must be absorbed in this subject. How beautiful Sham is sitting by Swamini's feet. Swamini lifts him up and seats him next to her. How beautiful Shyam looks with these loving tears in his eyes. Holding her cheek on his cheek. Swamini asks Shyam, Why do you love me so much? I could not do anything for you. I have so many shortcomings. How many qualified girls are there not always waiting for you. How could you leave them all for one unfortunate girl like me? Sham stares at Shimati Swamini's face. What he has gotten that he is unaware of. Their bodies are studded with big goosebumps and many sweat drops. And they stare at each other while tears flow from their eyes without interruption. Their limbs are filled with joy from each other's touch. Who can experience the waves of this love? They embrace each other and stare at each other. While Swamini holds her head on Sham's left shoulder and keeps her right arm behind his back. Their mouths are adorned with soft and tender smiles that do not seem to end.
Rupa and Tulasi stare without blinking at the sweetness of the Yuga Lakishore, who look like the moon, Radha, and the blue Kuvalaya lotus, Krishna, together. They resemble a golden wine embracing a tamala tree or the lightning entering a fresh rain cloud. There is no comparison to Radha in Krishna's forms. They resemble a blue lotus flower and the moon in one place. They are both absorbed in Rasika ecstasy and Ananta Das cannot find the limits to this. Oh. Suddenly, the vision vanishes. It is as if the eyes have become empty and Sri Raghunath Das is weeping, praying and lamenting. Oh, Rupa Manjari Devi, you are always immersed in the nectar ocean of devotional service, always pleasing Sri Sri Radha Madhav, Sri Sri Radha Moha. In a loving mood, Kunjeshwari Radha places her wine-like arm in your hand. Your incomparable golden youthful form astonishes Hari's heart. When you see Mohan before you with your passionate reddish eyes, you are floating on waves of love with your body, your mind and all your senses. Oh, my Ishwari, Sri Radhi, you are wearing all the ornaments of your pastimes, floating on the waves of rasa, of playful skirmishes. As I take you on Abhisa, the love journey to the Kunj which is decorated by Sri Hari. Sri Hari. Jai <laughs> Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari, when can I walk behind you? When you lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radha, who is moved by waves of desire to the play grove that is decorated by Sri Hari as she holds her wine-like arm with yours. I have some doubts. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure if, uh, if Mohan could actually manage to to decorate on just so just uh just to go yeah. yes just I have some doubts oh, yeah. but uh but I don't think uh I don't think that uh, Mohan could 
could do this seva of decorating the kunja on his own because he couldn't even decorate the throne without crying <laughs> tears. Can't even paint her feet. So, could it be that some manjaris maybe went to help, maybe with Ananga manjari or to prepare the kunja? Problem is that the gopis can fall off. But the problem that the male consciousness, he cannot say to us. He cannot call to the, his friends. He cannot call to the gopis. They will be jealous. Mm. But the male consciousness big problem for Radhika's manjaris are doing. They want to make happy to her. But for male conscious people, there is no other way. Only suffering is the way. And we want to be a male to suffer more. This is, this is the point. I don't want to Because he cannot say to his friend, they will joke him. He cannot bring to the Chandravali group gopis. <laughs> they will not like him. And with some sneha he can bring who love more. But they are also become jealous. For him is a big problem. <laughs> Gurudev, <clears throat> I was, if I can say something. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking when Gopika said this, which is a very nice, very nice point, something came to my mind that sometimes when Krishna is not able to fulfill, like what came immediately to my mind is that when Radhika orders Krishna to paint the foot leg on, on Radhika's foot or when he has to paint pictures on her breast or anything which he has to do and he starts crying out of ecstasy, only the manjaris can then help Krishna and can sometimes they, they say, oh no, go away, you cannot do this. And they go there and finish the job. So only the manjaris who are so much dedicated in Radhiksnaya, they can, they can take over Krishna's, Krishna's task. No one that, else can do this. That is the point. Only manjari can in the presence of Radhika. Mm. Manjari will never go to give Radhika for Krishna. Gurudev, yeah. I want to say one thing. Can I? Yeah. I fear. And uh, Gopika Didi's question is very beautiful. But actually, this time, Krishna definitely do it alone. <laughs> what is the beauty of Kunja? It's not a material way. He's merely make a mess. <laughs> crying, full of <laughs> tears. Petal is so crazy. That's why Swami must be merciful. Oh, Krishna, today you did so nice. <laughs> you cannot do nice, but full of love. I'm so satisfied. Come. This is the real beauty of Kunja. This is <laughs> what I want to feel. Yeah. Translated in Japanese. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Kishori, very good. Ah, very nice. Yeah. No, no, go pick an inspiration. I say, man, Kishori. Very good, Dev. I want to go very. up. No, just say that. Very nice. Very, very, very. <laughs> yeah. What is the mercy? You see that, Tarun Baba? Sure, the mercy is that we, in this Kali Yuka, we have the we have the opportunity to to share these emotions and to share this between Sachati Sangha, which are always in the same mood with the same goal. We are very, very fortunate that we can talk about this because for years and years and years, this topic was not 
to be talked about and now we can freely talk because of you and Baba. Every day is new and fresh. That is the beauty of this problem. It is Bhav really... Bhav yeah. Rajanath Baba, we only know Radha word. And you see, you see, Radha, Radha, all subject is Radha. Even this room is full of dust because of the construction, it's only Radha. Radha. You know, any, anything you don't want, people is Mona, Radha. Radha. They're hammering, they're doing everything to disturb it. <laughs> Good if like like in uh, Radharaja Sultaniti, it is written that great sages in the caves of the Himalayas and great, great munis and munis and munis for thousands of years, they meditate and meditate, but they never can touch one second of uh, Radha Kata or Radha Lila Kata, not one second. It's, it's very astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> And in evening time, one hour I listen to the Siksha with Chaitan Chaitan. Learning. So, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadha Kambunai. You know this. So, there is one translation very nice. The soul knows that this is the I come for this. This is the is nothing uh, is uh, unknown. Only I cover it. Uh, so the chitta we need only that the covering what I make the chitta covered that only has to clean and. It's seven adi, Suddha Chitta, seven adi, Karoy, Udoy, Udoy means like a sunrise, it automatically happens. No any sastra or philosophy you have to know. It's written in Chaitan Chaitan Wow, I wow, you don't need to read anything. <laughs> and I see the example. The case of Baba is my example. He don't know to read Bangla. Many, I see many who never read Bangla, English, Hindi, nothing. He don't know any sloka. But you listen to him. Uh, when case of Baba say, I think that I'm a baby. I don't know anything. According to the level, according to the level, you understand. You cannot understand more than that, you should not clean it. Thank you for giving your kind association. Inspired me. I'm still very covered.
some time I think that I practice. I'm not stopping that I practice Panjari Vana. When I listen about sickness and this, that, I am in Vishamsana. Sometimes one goes here, there. It's not a dictionary, one, not one pointedness. So please bless me. So when I will become a dictionary, a dasi, or a, and to one pointedness will come to me. Help me to develop this. I'm still very low class and unqualified. Please. I need all of your Vaishnavas to see in my life. I don't want to come again and again. Help me. This time I have a very good self. Please help me. Bless me that this time. I can do right away. I can do. not long time to stay, and not I still feel that I'm very, very deviating from my goal. Best now I can give mercy. Yeah.